Hi guys, yes we camp here and today I'm going to talk about the mechanics of sniping in uh, Skill of Special Force 2 aka Soldier Front 2 if you are playing from North America. My purpose with this video is showing you all the small tricks that you can use to um, adapt to the specific mechanics of sniping in this game since uh, every FPS has its own uh, special features and uh, I want you guys to spend as little time as possible wondering uh, how sniping works in this game and rather focus on uh, having fun so without any further ado first topic I want to talk about is uh, moving and shooting in uh, SF2, uh, when you shoot, you want to stand completely still. In some games, like uh, Alliance of Valiant Arms, which is the main game I, I come from, you have the same accuracy whether you are walking or standing still. By walking, I mean this speed, uh, not this one. Let's call this one uh, jogging, okay? <laughs> and uh, this one running. Now, in SF2, even when you walk, you do not have 100% accuracy with, with a, a sniper rifle. As you can see, I just missed my target. So, you have to break shoot, which is the practice of uh, stopping any movement just an instant before shooting. And uh, to do that, you have uh, two choices. You can either lift your fingers from the movement keys, I mean uh, the WASD uh, keys on your keyboard, and lift your fingers a moment before uh, shooting, or you can press the button opposite to the direction you are moving along. So let's say you are strafing right, and therefore you are pressing D, then you want to press A without lifting your finger from D and what happens is that the vectors of your movement negate each other and you come to a stop immediately and then you can shoot with perfect accuracy in uh, SF2 you do not have a delay after you stop to reach the perfect accuracy you do not have a penalty like in games uh, like uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive in that game uh, you have to stop and uh, wait for a fraction of a second to have perfect accuracy that, that doesn't happen in uh, SF2 so that's uh, that's quite nice even if you jump the moment you you touch the ground you have perfect accuracy uh, so uh, you definitely want to learn uh, how to break shoot if you are not uh, already doing it second topic uh, is uh, target areas the one it kill area for uh, sniper rifles is, is uh, the head and the upper torso or the chest the limbs are areas that tank a, a lot of shots and so uh, you want to make sure that you are not spamming uh, bullets all over the place because uh, otherwise your uh, your shots are going to get tanked a lot third topic i want to discuss is uh, quick scoping in uh, sf2 you can quick scope with, with any rifle regardless of the speed of your zoom uh, so even if you have a slow zoom uh, scope, you can quick scope uh, like a, a, an instantaneous scope because at the very moment you press uh, the, the right button of, of your mouse, you are considered scoped in and so the bullet will hit the center of, uh, of your screen provided you break shoot. This is a, a nice feature and it is not overpowered because it is balanced out by the target areas by the one hit kill target areas that i have just discussed and so the fact that if you miss the head or the chest your shots are going to get tanked uh, a good percentage of the time that's the fact that will keep your quick scopes in, in check another subject uh, i want uh, to go over is aiming down the sight uh, when you aim down the sight in uh, sf2 you are forced to move at walking speed what's the consequence of that well it means that being a, an aggressive scope in uh, this game requires you to learn how to quick scope because you cannot a hard scope and uh, roam around the map easily. In other games like uh, Alliance of Valiant Arms, you can uh, jog and uh, hard scope at the same time. I believe there's 
even an item that lets you run when you are scoped in. Now, that's overpowered. I, I, I'll be very upfront about that. That's overpowered because that lets you have your crosshair readily available, that gives you the mobility, and uh, last but not least, you have one hit kill uh, ability. So, as you can see, you are pretty much uh, set up to dominate battleground against uh, assault rifles. In SF2, that's not really the case, and this is the reason why scopes are not really overpowered in this game, even if uh, many people complain about that. That's not really the case. There are tactics that you can use as an assault rifle against snipers, and uh, maybe I will discuss those in, uh, in another video if you are interested. Another subject I want to discuss is uh, quick switching. And there's a video out there by Nuclear Sharkhead which shows how all bolt action uh, rifles in, uh, in this game benefit f from a rate of fire increase if you quick switch uh, correctly. So uh, I will put a, a link to that video in, in the description, uh, be sure to check it out and uh, kudos and credits to Nuclear Sharkhead. What you want to keep in mind is that when you quick switch you do not have to wait for your character to uh, finish to operate uh, the bolt when you equip your uh, your gun again. Meaning, uh, you do not have to wait for this animation to finish. You can reshoot almost as soon as you draw your gun again. Like this. Okay? So, keep that in mind. Should you quick switch in every situation? Uh, the answer is no, although that's beyond the purpose of this video. Quick switching is situational and if you are interested in uh, why and uh, when you should do it or not do it, well, uh, maybe I can make a guide about that. You will let me know, guys. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching and uh, I hope you find the information uh, useful and helpful. If you have any question, post them uh, in the comments. I'll try to answer as soon as I can and uh, I have more videos coming out soon yes we can signing out peace and I'll see you later